many of our viewers express a belief that all ancient ruins were constructed by our ancestors with methods learned over eons of trial and error. Some also devoutly attest to them eventually succumbing to a biblically documented deluge. The fact remains, at this current time in history, we cannot prove this beyond doubt. As a collaboration who actively researches and seeks out these specific ruins in question, we have come into contact with considerable evidence to support many of these ruins having once been submerged, either by fresh or, more often than not, an ancient sea. However, due to their possible extraordinary antiquity, these subversive experiences may have been merely due to climactic changes, rather than divine intervention. There is also growing hostility towards the once popularly touted proposition of ancient aliens, or perhaps ancient astronauts. Many governmental bodies have supposedly come clean over recent years regarding alien disclosure, releasing a number of apparent smoking guns to the public, often videos which included military testimonies regarding said encounters. Is it therefore such an absurdity to merely postulate that, based on currently presented information, that an alien civilization, clearly far more advanced than us, is currently observing our planet and species? Perhaps we once knew these beings, before something clearly happened within our past, something which made us forget a considerable amount of our own history. Many of the ancient structures found upon our planet defy belief or explanation. Is it so unforgivable to ponder whether our ancestors received an intellectual nudge at some point within antiquity? There are also many ancient tribes whose ancestral accounts often include some sort of visitation, with some, like the Dogans, celebrating the processions of the Sirius star system processions we didn't confirm as accurate until earlier this century. And the Scythians could be seen as the most valuable of these tribes, mainly due to a mysterious idol, once found frozen within one of their ancient tombs, sunk deep into permafrost among the Altai mountains of Serbia. It is known as the Scythian Spaceman, and for good reason, it must be remembered when looking upon such objects with eyes from a modern world that the clothing this idol wears is far removed from the tribe in which created it. It is not only unusual, but eerily reminiscent of our own modern spacesuits. What's more, and perhaps the most damning evidence, is his space helmet, a device that would have been crucial for communication with a being from an entirely different atmosphere. What was the Scythian spaceman? What does it represent? Did the Eurasian nomads actually encounter an ancient astronaut? We find the existence of such artifacts highly compelling. There are places on our planet that still contain some astonishing ruins, originating from a very distant antiquity. Quietly studied by academics the world over, and just as quietly dismissed as modern works, are from not-so-distant, more primitive ancestors. Or, if fated enough, attributed to natural activities by geologists, funded by the same infrastructure as that of the academic world, paid to explain the origins of the ruins of Earth to a particular already permitted timeline. Not only are these funded individuals directed to only attribute such sites to a certain timeline, but if they go against the grain, by actually attributing them or sharing data contradicting such timelines, it is often thrown out and their funding ended, slowly drying up with their future opportunities in the field, as well as their prospects and ultimately their reputation. Regardless of this, facts do not lie. And the more one explores the anomalies we present here on our channel, the more one may find themselves coming to similar conclusions as we have regarding the illogical nature and often impossibility of these advanced ancient ruins having been created using now lost knowledge or technologies, once being the work of the academically claimed culprit. Siberia is indeed one of these places. 
and due to the remote nature of some of the ruins found here, are easily dismissed, hidden from a modern world, battling to regain the truth regarding our past. Altai is an area that contains many ancient megaliths. So old, they are undeniably the legacy of a civilization now long lost to history. Yet this tremendous age is a double-edged sword. Not only could they eventually reveal, like done during current studies of the antiquities already covered on the channel, reveal that ruins found across the globe just don't date from a single civilization, but are, in fact, the work of separate civilizations who have presumably been and gone at different times, making the flourishment of man and, indeed, our eventual decline a cyclical occurrence. But due to tremendous age, can also be dismissed as nothing but mere geological features. This regardless of the still remaining highly eroded evidence that can be found at such sites, which is indeed indicative of artificial origins. Furthermore, there also exists a number of supposed hillsides that, just like the pyramids of Giza, have resisted the tests of time more successfully than their polygonal counterparts meaning their undeniable shape and alignments have survived long enough for them to stick out like sore thumbs, amongst a landscape which is unbalanced and predictably unaligned. A background made by nature, yet their angle of descent, their ridged edges, and ultimately their artificial nature still allows one to recognize them and identify them as not only places of interest, but ancient pyramids hidden from man for countless millennia, protected by mountain ranges and hostile, inhospitable climates, which our modern technology is slowly allowing us to rediscover, regardless of a modern academia who would rather we didn't. Additionally, not only can these artificial and highly intriguing features be found here, but also possible evidence to indicate how their creators came to an untimely demise possibly at the hands of immense heat and a possible natural disaster. Found within the nature reserve of Ergaki, among the western Sayan mountain range, is a feature that has rarely been seen, let alone photographed. An entire side of one of the mountains was, at some time within the distant past, turned to magma during an event yet to be understood. Turned to liquid magma, this stone flowed like liquid but only for a short period before re-solidifying. A relic from a disastrous event undoubtedly packed tremendous force. Yet, whether this is evidence of the event which decimated the ancient civilization responsible for Siberia's ruins is yet to be fully known. It is a place that is undoubtedly highly compelling. We have, in the past, explored some truly remarkable ancient ruins that can be found within Russia. Some of the largest blocks to be found anywhere on Earth can be found within this enormous country. Along with many other intriguing and spectacular finds still left to be publicly documented, most notably within the notoriously hostile and extremely eerie Ural mountain range, a place long rumored to be the home of the elusive snow yeti. Left abandoned for untold millennia, Laying within a Siberian lake, far from modern civilization, rests one of the most scientifically baffling sites to be found anywhere on planet Earth. Claimed to be only a mere 1300 years old, yet any compelling evidence to back up such predictable claims by certain bodies within historical academia are not forthcoming. Additionally, they harvest no real logical explanation for the site's clear antiquity reason for abandonment, or indeed construction. It seems with very little to go on, certain groups within constrictive learning practices would like the world to believe that this perplexing site was built a mere 1,000 or so years ago. Known as Por Bajin, it is a 3.5 hectare artificial man-made island located in a remote, unnamed Siberian lake between the Sayan and Altair Ranges, about 3,800 kilometers from Moscow near the Mongolian border. The site was first discovered in 1891, 
and the purpose of the island has still not been explained over a century later. It is still a mystery for quote, experts to explain although they still strongly insist it was constructed no more than 1400 years ago. An in-depth archaeological exploration took place in 2007, with archaeologists discovering clay tablets of human feet and faded colored drawings on the plaster. These were subsequently used to date the site to quite recently within antiquity, allowing experts to say that the island was built during the period of the Uyghur Khaganate, between 744 and 840 AD. However, they severely lack any clear explanation as to what their motives would have been for constructing such a fortress, in such a solitary place so far from trading routes, their own civilization, or indeed anything else of interest. As with many other confusing and as yet unexplained ruins around the world, the archaeological strata most prefer to academia's currently upheld story, in regard to chronological events, will always be preferred, and the controversial and often strong evidential datings are ignored or destroyed. Is Por Bajin a far older and once far more advanced site than we are led to believe? With the advances in technology allowing us to venture further and further into the wilderness, it is only a matter of time before a self-funded, inquisitively-minded individual gets a chance to take a really good look at this amazing place. There are many places on our planet so remote or little mentioned that much of the world has never heard of said sites, and the Great Salbic Kurgan is one such example of an incredible ruin that has been largely forgotten or overlooked by modern academic study. Clearly of a Neolithic age, the thing which is most striking regarding the ruin is the sheer size of the megalithic blocks which make up the main structure. Claimed by many as the most majestic and mysterious ancient monument of southern Siberia, the mound is located in what is locally known as the so-called Siberian Valley of the Kings, where several thousand years ago, it is claimed that there existed a kingdom, one made up of a people once known as the Tagars. Thus, the age monument has been pinned on said culprits, with an age of around 2,300 to 2,500 years attributed to the site. The main earthwork is a stone square mound, 70 meters by 70 meters in size, as mentioned, huge slabs of Devonian sandstone. Some estimated as weighing as much as 50 to 70 tons were somehow once inexplicably delivered to the site from a quarry site of over 100 kilometers away found upon the banks of the Yenisei River. It is believed that it was an ancient temple, and at a later date an ancient astronomical observatory, which like most other Neolithic sites incorporates processional cycles in its alignment, showing the movement of the sun and the moon. As mentioned, it still remains a complete mystery as to what devices were once utilized for the importation and installation of these gigantic stones. At the corners and sides of the stone fences are deeply driven large meniers. All 23 stones are of an enormous sight. Measuring up to a height of 6 meters, they're clearly smoking guns flying in the face of upheld academic fallacies. The rare excavations and explorations noted as having been undertaken at the site note that before the construction of the giant earth embankment and its accompanying stone fence, there was a crypt of logs in its place, once in the form of a truncated pyramid. This whole crypt can be found inside the huge earthwork, preserved beneath, untouched, yet covered with a thick layer of bark. The crypt had the height of 2.5 meters in depth of 2 meters of water covered the pit. It is claimed that around the burial zone, for a long time a strong anomaly has continually been observed. The study of these phenomena has indeed been engaged by scholars, but the pace of said explorations has been suspiciously slow-paced. Who built the Great Salbic Kurgan? How were these huge stones transported to the site and once driven into the earth at the site? What is this quote, strong anomaly? More investigation and popularization of the site is desperately needed. It is a place which we find highly compelling. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.